Hi, I'm Moron50, and I'm going to tell you why I want mittens for prayers. He's going to get us out of this economical mess and make sure we hit the big time. I've never been more prouder than today in this day and age because my vote can change the future of our Christian nation. President Obama right now must be really afraid and shaken where he stands. But to tell you the truth, you know what scares me even more? His name has something to behold. It rhymes with BOOM. Kind of like saying, oh, look, there's a bomb. Just like when he messed up the economies and tells people like me we need government care. Well, guess what, Obama? Romney promises tricky down economics and I work hard. You think I don't know hardship? I make my own way in life with possum and coon hunting and old Gramps taught me how to roast them in the kettle. Not a day goes by that I don't remember my Gramps teaching me my work ethic, especially that faithful day he got bucked square in the face by Skeeter the donkey. Later that night by his bedside, I could see a hoof mark deep in his forehead when he said with his last breath, Moron, you can take that iron kettle and shove it up your... As he looked at me with wide, bulging eyes, he croaked his last breath, but I knew that he meant for me to have it, so that's why I never ate a food stamp in my entire life. You see, I got what it takes to get off my tater every day and work hard. I'm a tried and blue patriot, especially after my half-sis kicked me in the balls and I saw a vision. I kept a straight face until the flush of pain drifted me into a haze when I hit the floor. I don't remember my sis trying to wake me up because I saw Chuck Norris cradling Paul Ryan in his arms as he told me in his angelic voice, Moron, with your help, we're not going to fall into a thousand years of darkness. When I woke, I knew I was here to pass on the message that I'm now a believer in Mitt Romney and he should be your choice for prayers too.